Hey gamers, how's it going? It's John, and in this video, I'm going to review the new 7-in-1 steering wheel. This is by Evo Retro. I have some of the other products from before, and I can tell you the product quality is good. Uh, this is a good company. I know the owner personally, uh, and uh, the good product. But I got this on Amazon, uh, in case you guys are curious, and I'll put a link below too if you want to find out more information about this particular product. It says N Switch, Nintendo Switch. This is also compatible with the Switch. But it's also, in addition to Switch, it's compatible with PS3, PS4, and PC, uh, which is nice. It does say it's compatible with the Xbox One, though talking to the owner, this particular model, I guess, has issues, some issues connecting to the Xbox One. So if you're looking for a steering wheel for that particular system, this is probably not the one to get, this, this model anyway. However, if you have a Switch, it's a really easy setup. It's all done by USB. In this case, you take the USB, you plug the USB on the back of the pedals into the back of the steering wheel. You take the USB, uh, separate USB connection from the steering wheel, to your Switch dock. It's that simple, uh, really straightforward directions out of the box. You can play games like Mario Kart and other racing games. It just adds to the, the feel of the racing games quite a bit, significantly. Uh, so without any further ado, let's take a closer look at how this controls and let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. And thanks for watching. Okay, so before I show you gameplay, I wanna show you a closer look at the wheel itself. Um, you have your D-pad here, uh, your action buttons here. Mode button here goes back to the main menu. Uh, start and select. You also have uh, your shifter here up and down. Notice on the bottom you also have these suction cups. This is going to help keep them in place. So I do recommend getting these moist a little bit or wet and make sure you push down pretty hard because make sure that you got a good grip. That way it doesn't, because once you're steering, if you don't have them suctioned down, then you could fight, you know, it could be hard to control. Um, overall, the controls feels good. It's got a little grip here as well. Oh, on the back, you also have your R1, L2 or uh, L1, L2 as well. So those are important. So if you're playing Mario Kart, you have your, your you can fire weapons and all that good stuff. You also have your pedals here. You have your brake and your gas. And I noticed in gas, it does click. When you, you hear it click, when it, it does click once you know you're in gas mode, okay? But it has a nice uh, grip here as well, okay? So let's show you some gameplay and uh, go from there, thanks. First thing you need to do, make sure when you're playing on the Switch, make sure you go to settings and go down to controller, controllers, and you'll see where it says pro controller wired communication, make sure that is on. If that is off, as the case mine was, uh, if you plug this in the USB in the system, it will not work. Make sure that's on, then reset it, you won't have any issues. Okay, just make sure that's on. Let's go backwards, check out Mario Kart. I've got my suction cups pretty good on there. Okay. This is one of my favorite Mario Karts. Great Mario Kart, by the way, game. Stick with Mario. Here we go. You notice that it also has the light here. It's indicating that's player one. That's on. Okay. I also have rumble. It's got a rumble feature too, so when I bump into people, I feel it rumble. So that's a nice feature for sure. You, I don't know if you can hear the rumble, but... Oh, so it's been fast and you got the rumble. Here we go. Okay. So yeah, control's pretty good. So I'm gonna put hit mode button. Let's check out another racing game. This is Hotshot Racing. This came out recently, uh, last year, 2020. 
This is a really fun racing game too. If you've ever played uh, virtual racing, it's kind of a successor to that. And this game is available on, on PC. It's available on uh, PS4, Xbox One. It's on, I think it's on Game Pass as well, Xbox One or Xbox Game Pass. But it's, uh, it's a lot of fun. My buddy uh, Jason Heine actually did the, the music, the audio to this, so kudos to him. Shout out to him. Sumo. They've worked with a lot of racing games with, with, with Sega in the past, so it's pretty awesome that they were part of this. But yeah, if you like virtual racing, this is definitely one to check out. It's a lot of fun. It's got the polygon graphics, which is awesome. Let's do manual. I'm using this. Definitely the cool experience with uh, with manual shifting. So this is like kind of a classic arcade racer. So it's got you know you're working against the time, the clock, and you're you're racing against others, of course. Every time you shift, it vibrates, which is cool too. Admittedly, I'm not very good at this game. And then there's a boost. I think it's it's a A. So let me try it. Well, I need to unlock it first. Break. Oh. Not good. Like I said, I'm not the best at this game. Let's get there. Oh, nice. Okay. There's a the boost. Shift. No, let go of the gas. Okay. Dang, the sharp, sharp turns kill me every time. There's a boost. So it just brings more, I mean, I think it's a better feel to the gameplay experience overall for the steering wheel. Oh, I see him. This is a turn that gets me every time. The damn turn, damn shit. Well, I finished the clock, but I got eighth place. But anyway, guys, you guys get the idea. Um, I'll put a link to their Amazon site below in case you guys want to find out more information about this, this steering wheel. I really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, please let me know if you guys recommend any racing games, either for Switch or any other console. Please let me know. Uh, thanks for subscribing as well. We'll see you guys soon. Take care and game on.